Hey everybody, if it's a little bit noisy here, it's because we got this air conditioner running uh, outside of here. I want to remind everybody that Arknoy and the doctor will be live later on today at about uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I know I keep saying that, but you know, got to keep reminding some people. Because I did get hit up a few times with questions like, what time is your show with uh, Ark there? So i got to keep reminding everybody. And um, one of the things I'm going to be addressing in this vlog, I'll get to the second one in a few, is, uh, well, why our return to our show? Now, as you know, for the past couple of weeks, up until his uh, reconnecting with Skunky, Wire's been a good stable for this program. You know, adding his two bits in, learning from both of us here and there. Now the question is, will YR be uh, making a comeback to our program? I don't know, that's still up in the air. I know he mentioned, I think he mentioned it a couple times on a couple of his shows on his channel. And um, he has uh, hit me up on Skype a couple of times to let me know that he was live and uh, this and that there. You know, I'm sorry about the whole Scott thing there. I have yet to ask Ark about the whole thing. I want to find out if it's okay with him or not. Because I don't want to be one of those losers who bring on this person to the call, that person to the call, to uh, Ark Noyes disapproval. We already agreed that a bullfrog is not allowed on my channel. So, um, if he's going to be uh, brought into the show, it has to be by somebody else. And I'm sure Ark does not want Bullqueef on to this program again. He even said it in uh, the chat during that Dark Side of the Pantry episode last year. When we do our show, I do not want Bullfrog around. And I will respect that. So, everything uh, with YR right now is up in the air. So, like I said, I have to uh, Gmail Arknoia and let him know if he wants YR back on the show. So, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Now, another thing I want to get to is something that um, WWE superstar Bailey. She hasn't mentioned this uh, in a while there because she's been injured, in which she blames the fans, you know, which is bullshit. That's her way of getting herself over as the heel, which she uh, did pretty much well since she became one about a couple years ago there. A couple times in her Twitter feed, she would often talk, refer, excuse me, she would often refer to the fans as sheep. Now, I don't remember if I made a video about this in the past. If I didn't, I'll definitely make it here. And if I did already, I'll have to reinstate my claims and my uh, purpose of why I back her up on that claim. We've seen so many people, so many people in the past Follow this, follow that, because they're told to by social media, because of what some singer, or some actor, or some political figure, or some um, SJW idiot out there, you know, telling them, you know, not to follow, follow this belief, or that belief, and we see so many people fall for it, you know? Too many times we see people, you know, uh, Go and follow this, cancel this, you know, cancel culture, cancel this performer, without even knowing the uh, real reason why. They're doing it because it's the trend at that moment. I remember seeing a cartoon back in the 1980s, around 87, 86, if I remember. I believe it was uh, a year earlier before those. It was a father and a son and the son was talking about, I'm ready to stamp out apartheid, which is a kind of slavery in um, South Africa, when you look it up on Wikipedia. And um, 
the father was like, I'm glad you're sticking up for um, what's right there, son. And the son replied, yeah, it's going to be the next big trend. Now, I guess that may have been a punchline, but it makes sense. We see so many people following this trend, that trend, you know, uh, like I said, you know, cancel this person or that person there, this rock band, you know, just because for one little word that they said, one little uh, mistake that they made in their past, you know. And I think it's time that we stop that. And I'm speaking for everybody. You know, Bailey has a good point when she talks about people being sheep like she does. I am not a sheep, as you can see. As you can see by the way I am dressed, by the way I am speaking. I remember why I was saying, you know, if I want to make it to the music business, you have to follow this, you know, follow that, you know, gotta do what everybody else is doing, you know, whether it's uh, the SJW, the political correctness, and and be honest with you, I got really revved up when he um, was talking all that smack. I got really angry because I'm not that politically correct. I was brought up a different way. My childhood was in the 1970s. Back then, if you didn't defend yourself or go back at someone, you were a coward. If you came out of the closet as gay, bisexual, or trans, your life ended. People would hate you. You were disowned by your friends, your family, your community, the people that you go to school with. They want nothing to do with you. You were outcasted for sure. You know? So when I hear all this, you know, PC correctness, you know, this advocating for this SJW bullshit, yes, it makes me kind of upset because that's not how we were raised, you know? And to all these people out there saying, you know, um, if you believe the old ways, we don't want your business, shut the fuck up. They're there to give you business. You may disagree with their uh, political beliefs, but they're there to shop at your store or your Starbucks. They're helping you guys out. They're helping you and your employees get a paycheck. And you're gonna shove them away because they don't believe in your political ideas, your agendas, you know? Fuck that. It's time to put an end to that bullshit just as well. And that goes for either Starbucks or this coffee place or that restaurant, period. You know? I understand that we got to accept a couple things here, but when it's forced down our throats, I say the buck stops here and now. All right? So um, that's all I got for this evening here. Hope you guys have a great week coming up. I'm Dr. Earl. Leave their thoughts and comments below. Hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, everybody. You guys have a good one. Take care.